Hello out there, Gators. Mr. Miller here with your challenge that I spoke about in the announcements. I wrote a story which was inspired by one of our own students who is currently a second grader. Her name is Keenan. Because she once told me that flamingos don't wear underwear. So I've been working on this story for a few years. I'm going to read you the story and then you can pick your favorite part and draw an illustration of that part of the story for me. And then um, you can email your picture to me at tmiller at a-l-c-s-n-y dot org. And I'll put that up in words here. And then I'll put it together and we'll kind of do a video book with your illustrations about my story. Um, coming to you from my living room floor, my little buddy is asleep right there, so I'm reading kind of quiet. So here's my story. Flamingos don't wear underwear. It's a very strange question, so answer if you dare. Have you ever stopped to wonder what animals choose for underwear. We all know the lion is super strong and mighty. He picks underwear that's snug, the classic whitey tidy. Alligator lives in the swamp, not the surface, just down below. Stealthy on his hunt for food in his classic black athletic speedo. The penguins live in the cold with snow from dusk to dawn. In attempt to stay warm, they choose cozy thermal long john. Spider monkey of the jungle with a body so teeny, she doesn't need to cover much, so she wears polka dot bikini. Three-toed sloth is very slow, she doesn't move with haste. Her style calls for comfort in fancy undies with a high waist. Hyena is a jokester roaming across the desert floor. He wears stretchy boxer briefs with his tail poking out the trap door. See the proud flamingo, knees bent, he gives a stare. He chooses to be free and daring, flamingos don't wear underwear. This is just a few animals. There's plenty more out there. So take a glance and ask yourself, what do you think they'd wear? So that's the story. Pick the part that you like most and inspires you. Draw me a picture and then have your parents send it to me on email. Just the picture that you drew, not a picture of you with your picture, just your illustrations. And then I'll try to put together a video story with your pictures. So again, my email address is tmiller at a-l-c-s-n-y dot org. And you can start sending me those pictures. Leave your name and your grade with that also so that I can include you as the illustrators of the story. That's all. Have a good one, Gators. Enjoy. I can't wait to see what you come up with.